in this lecture we will continue with improving the mesh quality so in the previous lecture we had learned how to improve the warpage and skewness in jacobian so in this lecture we will learn how to improve element length element maximum length aspect ratio maximum and minimum angles so i click on return and if you want to work along with me you can also open up this file go to open mesh quality 1 so i click cancel from here now let's say i go to my element quality here so here we can see this purple color and this purple color means the elements are failing in maximum length it means these elements have length more than specified the value of 8 now to solve this maximum size problem what we can do is we can increase the number of elements here when the number of elements increase the space between them will decrease hence their length will decrease so first let's check the length of them press f4 two nodes so let's say i check this length so this is 8.5 one thing also we can do is if the length is very close to the maximum length so this is very close to the maximum length so let's say i select this 7.9 and press enter now we can see this element is no longer failing so this is called the manual method of improving the mesh quality and generally this is the method we use now we can also do the remesh here so do the remesh for this portion and let's see how the mesh is changing now we can see only these two elements are failing now for this element what i can do is Once again, I go to F4 and check the length. So this is close to eight. So let's say I select seven point nine and press Enter. And also for these elements, let's say this is seven point nine. Now we can see the elements are no longer failing. So similar thing you can do it yourself. Just do the remesh, improve the number of element along the rows, and then. check the length manually and you can reduce them one more thing we can use is we can use the option of quality index now i go to this 2d and then go to quality index in this quality index we have we have some option of improving the mesh quality so go to clean up tools so here we can see all the elements that are showing other than this blue color these elements are failing so these so red elements are failing in more than one criteria so here we have some option like place node node optimize and element optimize we have some option like smooth split the element drag try element split quad and combine try so generally it is not recommended to use these options here when i when we use this options they will also change the adjacent mesh so let's say here i zoom in here now we can see this element is failing and this element is failing in this maximum length i go to this place node i pick this node and drag it now we can see this element is no longer failing similarly we have option like node optimize so if you select any node like here I click on this node. So it is not working on to this node. I select this node. Now we can see the element is no longer failing. Similarly, but the problem here is that if I select this node. Now the problem is that click on return. Now when I select this method, here we can see this node is deviating away from this feature line. and that is something not recommended in the meshing the node should be on the feature line and that is why we don't use this option of quality index similarly if i select this node optimize here element optimize here and let's say i select this element here click on here like here and once again so select the element which we want to improve so sometimes this method work 
and sometimes it doesn't so let so here once again see click on return and when i use this option once again the nodes are deviating from the feature line so that is why we don't use this option of quality index much now there is one more option that is called the drag trial sometimes this method can be useful whenever we have back to back trials we can drag any trial so let's say i want to drag this trial forward or backward so pick this trial and drag the mouse this method sometimes can be useful now i click on return let's understand how can we improve the angle problem so i click undo here all the elements that we improved here now let's zoom in on to this element see this element is failing in the maximum angle the maximum angle is 135 so i go to f4 three node select this node this node and this node see this angle is more than 135 so this angle now if we want to reduce this angle what we can do is i if i move this node toward this point so i go to two node from this point to this point if i let's zoom in here let's reduce this value so let's say this is 5 so when i place this node some bottom you see this node will move and hence the angle will reduce so this is a good way of improving the mesh quality manually placing the node similarly let's see here again this is the element that is failing so if i go to f4 and reduce this length so let's say this is 3.5 now we can see this element is no longer failing so in case of angle we have to manually place the nodes we have one more that is minimum angle so let's say in this trial element the minimum angle should not be less than 20 so go to f4 and three nodes so so click on reset first node second node and third node here we can see the angle is close to 17 degree now to increase this angle what i can do is i can take this node closer so go to f4 select this node so let's say from this direction to this and click on translate see i i had translated this 2.1 and this element is no longer failing similarly if i translate it like this so we have to check different possibilities to improve the mesh quality so similarly i can little bit change this length here so let's say this is 4.2 Okay now let's see the angle f10 select this edge now the angle is 19.91 so let's say this now 4.15 so don't change much now see this element is no longer failing so these are the some different ways of improving the mesh quality so similarly you can go for the aspect ratio you can change the length manually and also the minimum length